What's up, guys? If uh, Rosa Parks had gotten off the bus and called an Uber, would that be the first Uber black? Okay. Uh, I think that's a good commercial for February, Black History Month. Do you guys remember that uh, Kendall Jenner, Pepsi, police brutality collab? Right, Pepsi thought, uh, who better to teach cops to love black men than a Kardashian? You don't remember that commercial? Some people saw that commercial, they said, uh, fuck Pepsi. Other people saw it, they said, yeah, agreed, fuck Pepsi. But then Bud Light uh, used a trans woman, and some people said, uh, fuck Bud Light. Other people said, hey, fuck you for saying fuck Bud Light. We're gonna buy Bud Light now. But no one thinks that Bud Light cares about trans topics, trans issues. They just care about their bottom line. Not bottom surgery, right? <laughs> Bud Light wanted to transition into a beer for people who could afford better beer. <laughs> I feel like we're coming more, becoming more susceptible to uh, virtue signaling in advertisement. That's why I could really see this uh, Rosa Parks commercial taking off. <laughs> it's like, the whole year round, drunk driving is dangerous. During Black History Month, it's also racist. All right, you guys hate Rosa Parks. That's, uh, I think that's the future of commercials. I think like Hilton Hotels, they're gonna get a new spokesman. It's gonna be uh, Martin Luther King Jr. It's gonna be like, I wish I stayed in this hotel. Cause this hotel has security. He was assassinated at a ho motel. Okay. Did I, did I, I didn't do it, guys. But uh, did that assassination joke go over your heads? Yeah, lucky you. It went right through his. Uh, oh, again, not me. I don't even work for the FBI or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> airlines, they're going to pitch you credit cards. Like, uh, imagine how many Jews Schindler could have saved with JetBlue. All right, because uh, they already make like emotionally manipulative commercials. Like I saw a Christmas commercial about an old woman with Alzheimer's. The only way she could connect with her granddaughter was over Chevy. I mean, I get it, grandma's brain not built for tough, but I don't want to be conditioned that every time I talk to my grandma, I want to buy a truck. <laughs> Pavlov wasn't ringing that bell. Like, I hope one day car commercials make people cry. Uh, they make overly sentimental commercials because they release the same love chemical in your brain as when you orgasm. Uh, I never consented to commercials making my brain orgasm. I feel like we're getting cosby by commercialism. <laughs> uh, consumerism, uh, you guys don't give a shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like if they want to get our brains when they're like that, they should just put product placement in porn. Why don't they already do that? They say sex sells. Have you guys seen porn? <laughs> Full of sex. Uh, no one ever thought to sell tramp stamps as ad space? <laughs> no, no one ever thought to say, oh, you're fucking me so good on this affordable Casper mattress. <laughs> Delivery man porn is a whole genre. Amazon should sponsor that. <laughs> I feel like Amazon delivery men would be less likely to unionize if they were expecting surprise blowjobs. <laughs> we cannot offer you a raise, but you can union bust on her face or back, wherever you want, buddy. It's all you. <laughs> if you think a commercial is uh, ethically iffy, you guys clearly think about commercials the same amount that I do. Uh, <laughs> this is an ethical test that you could perform. It's called the Four Loco test. You take the product and replace it with Four Loco. Could they air that? That Chevy commercial? No. Grandma couldn't be like, oh yes, I remember what it was like to get blackout drunk. Even some innocuous commercials like Snickers become, uh, you're not you when you're sober, right? They couldn't air that. Uh, you know what they could, what it would always pass the Four loco test? Product placement in porn. That actually become more ethical. Because right now, uh, all porn characters are sober. If you drunk fuck your stepmom, that's a rock bottom. If you sober fuck your stepmom, you may be 18, but you should put yourself for, up for adoption. Your family, they don't want you anymore. I hope you're off your dad's insurance already. Like, your best excuse is, uh, well, grandma was baby birding me for loco. She said, this is the only way to get into the will. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>